Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all-important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision on what comic books to buy. And today, fans, this is a review that you probably want to play uh, close attention to and this review is all about the new number one from Rick Remender. Uh, Uncanny Avengers, that's right, and Daniel Acuna does the artwork. Uh, this is volume two for the series. Now, I know a lot of fans, uh, I think, liked the first volume of this particular series, and now since uh, Access has ended, we get a new version of this team, and uh, things have changed, so we know that um, uh, Sabretooth is now not the crazy... Uh, rage hungry revenge machine after wolverine type of character anymore he's calmed down he's settled down uh he's working with the good guys now and we got havoc who went from being this happy-go-lucky guy uh to ruling uh to being the leader of the uncanny avengers he's become evil now and uh and now we have scarlet witch and quicksilver who are no longer related to magneto he is not their father. So now this book is basically uh, built around access on how these characters are trying to find their father. That's basically what this series is stemmed from, from access here. So if you're interested in that plot line, you're going to be interested to see, okay, well, who who are these guys? Who, you know, who's Quicksilver and Scarlet, which is uh, father now? So, um... The artwork in this particular book I felt was very dark for this series, and uh, I wasn't a fan of it this time around. Uh, I don't know if this will be the continued artist on here, uh, but I, I just wasn't a fan of it. I didn't think it had a lot of detail where needed, and uh, again, uh, with this type of artwork, it kind of it makes the series very dreary and very dark, which I really didn't feel a need that it had to be so dark. Um, so again, I wasn't a fan of it. I didn't like the facial expressions. Here's uh, Voodoo here. Uh, just kind of had this like 70s type of feel, and uh, it just didn't visually impress me. So that automatically uh, did drag down the book for me. So after not being impressed with the artwork, what did I think of this story? What was the story about? Well, in this particular uh, beginning of this issue, uh, we get to see uh, these bunch of characters, and they're called the, the New Men. And uh, this story has the evolutionary in it. Now, the last time the evolutionary was in a story, it had to do with the New Warriors. And I was totally turned off by him. Or was it uh, is it High Evolutionary or whatever he is? Um, I was totally turned off by it. And I found out that he is in this story too. And I'm kind of turned off by this book. But anyway... Uh, we got these new men in here. They're like mutant guys. They're like elephants and tigers and gorilla, gorillas and whatnot. And we find that Quicksilver uh, it shows up in the middle of their conversation. And then one of these guys goes to shoot him and he takes a gun. And uh, we get to see uh, kind of a somewhat of an action-packed beginning part issue here. Where you get to see Quicksilver trying to run after this creature and whatnot and uh, we get to see Scarlet Witch show up and uh, again they're trying to find out any information possible on who their father actually could be and after you get to see that little scene in a particular book uh, the book opens up and it's called Counter Evolutionary and the book tells you who this team of uncanny Avengers really is and this time around you get to see our cast of characters who is Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, Rogue, um, it's Captain America, Dr. Voodoo, The Vision, and Sabretooth. So that, that's your team of uncanny Avengers here. And we find out that uh, they're searching now for Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch based off of the, the current situation. And it just jumps into them and you just have this team. And, and Rogue is the one that's kind of behind assembling this team. She feels like these are the best people that can possibly find uh, Scarlet Witch. And we see that our team is having maybe some trust issues with Sabretooth because, yes, he's been a villain in the past. But based off of the events of Access, he's tried to do the good thing. 
uh, we find out that they come across this type of cavern or cave or, or headquarters or whatnot, and we find out that uh, they are on this a different type of earth. Well, we've never seen this before, have we? Um, our heroes are in this counter earth. It's an earth that takes place kind of behind the sun, so you don't see it in our solar system. So thanks to Voodoo's mystical powers, they get to travel over there uh, to this counter earth. But something happens in the in the in the spell, and then all of a sudden, uh, the sentry comes up comes along, and he winds up distracting Voodoo, and uh, certain people wind up getting uh, transported over to Counter Earth, and then our other team members uh, wind up getting transferred either to other parts of this Earth or to different areas, and then Rogue wakes up to some weird, crazy old guy that's talking about applesauce. And I'm just like, what is going on over here? Captain America gets trapped in some uh, some weird area that it is related to trees. And I'm just like, okay, now the issue's really, this is when the issue really starts to lose me here. And uh, then you see Sabretooth uh, get involved with uh, rhino-looking people. And he's all confused on where he's at. And I'm just kind of like, okay, yeah, all right. And then he winds up coming across... Uh, high evolutionary here and his new uh, uh, his new new men that's what they're called so they're all like mutant creatures they're like people mixed with frogs or elephants or rhinos and that was your great cliffhanger here uh, yeah so that's what happened in the issue so what did I think about this particular book I, I didn't like it at all I thought it was I thought it was very boring um, I was not impressed by the artwork whatsoever. Uh, I've seen this all before. You know, we go to a different earth to find our heroes and we go to this different species of men and, uh, and they wind up being separated. Uh, there was for a number one issue did not intrigue me whatsoever. I would have loved to see this focused more around Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver uh, trying to go amongst themselves trying to find out what happened uh, with their father or who their father is and maybe introduce the team uh, in a different way. Um, I just didn't like the way this turned out. They kind of just wind up um, just thrown into this adventure because the transportation didn't work out. Uh, and I just found it very boring and, and nothing visually here was appealing to me. So uh, after reading this book, uh, I, I really don't care what happens to our uh, Uncanny Avengers here. I, the only thing I really want to find out is... Who is Scarlet Witch's and Quicksilver's father now? Who are they related to? And I wish the team, uh, I, I kind of just wish it took a different direction than this first issue, not thrown into some weird adventure like this with some guy that talks about applesauce. Applesauce? Like, weird. I don't know. So, turned off by this. I definitely don't suggest this. I'm not even going to give this a 3 out of 5. Not worth $3.99. I'm going to give this one a two and a half out of five stars, guys. Uh, tell me what you thought of Uncanny Avengers. Did you like this? Are you a fan of the villain in this uh, of this series? And uh, did you like the first volume? So, uh, guys, there is my opinion here on Uncanny Avengers issue number one. And fans, again, leave me those comments below. Don't forget to check out my other reviews on Comic Frontline. And, guys, don't forget this Saturday, 9 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, Mike Spider Slater having his 2,000 uh, subscriber live show where I'll answer all your questions. Uh, so don't forget to tune in then. Okay, guys? So, again, until then, fans, this is Mike Spider Slater signing off. And thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Bye.